All right, let me show you what's happening outside right now. Beautiful shot here looking over Center City. Temperature wise, we're still at 49 degrees. It hasn't moved much in terms of the temperature, and we're all pretty much within a few degrees of one another. 42 degrees in Mount Pocono right now. Down the shore, Wildwood sitting at 48. We got 46 in Trenton, 49 around Reading at this hour. And that's where the temperatures for the most part are going to stay. The radar showing you that the rain has moved on out. This satellite image, the cloud cover there, is not picking up the low clouds. We have, you saw from the live shot there, there are clouds that are hanging out. So it's one of those situations. If you're watching this, for example, from the airport, watching this on our streaming channel, uh, and you get into a flight and you fly up, you're going to get above the clouds rather quickly. So we have this kind of low cloud deck that is overhead, and that's going to remain some areas of fog potentially tonight. But we have our next weather maker that's off to the south that's quickly going to be approaching. So let me show you how this looks as we go through the evening tonight. The future cast indicating those low clouds in the fog. They'll be around for your drive tomorrow, but here's our next weather maker working in from the south. If you want to get something done and you don't want rain, you don't have to worry about your umbrella, that type of thing. It's this evening or before, let's say 10 or 11 o'clock tomorrow morning, depending on where you are. I mean, here's a look at 10 o'clock. If you're watching from Cape May, Wildwood, Dover, maybe Newcastle County, yeah, you already have the rain at that time. Philly, we're saying noon, give or take a, a little bit of time. But here's a look at 1 o'clock, and you can see that it's filling in in our area. And a closer look at 1 o'clock has some heavier rain, evident by the orange and the yellows here, down the shore through parts of South Jersey, a good portion of South Jersey. And that's where we're going to get the heaviest of the rain throughout the afternoon and early evening hours. In fact, we have the flood watch that's in effect, Burlington County areas up to the north. And then this time tomorrow night and into tomorrow evening, it's not dry, but the heaviest of the rain will likely occur tomorrow afternoon into the early part of the evening. The overall weather system goes through about midnight and then it kicks on out of here. Dry Thursday morning, but yet another weather maker, not a bigger one, but one that's scooting on through, bringing us some additional showers for your day on Thursday. When it comes to total rainfall for yes or for tomorrow, not during the day Thursday, but tomorrow, here's one of our models. And I do see that there will be some spots that get an inch to two inches of rain. And that is why we have the flood watch up for sections of South Jersey. It is not up for you folks out to the west, not up for the I-95 corridor at this time. Allentown 0.7, up around the Poconos, a little less than an inch as well. So that's what we're looking at. We're going to add the rainfall to the totals tomorrow. Once again, noon, give or take a little bit of time. But tomorrow afternoon and evening, your evening commute will likely be wet. Your morning commute will not have rain. Thursday, showers. Not a huge deal. Friday is still our best day. So if you want to plan something, temperatures are comfortable near 60, well above normal. Not records, but above normal. And then we have our next weather system on noon Saturday, at noon Saturday and beyond into early parts of Sunday. The parade guys looking dry at this point. We'll keep our fingers crossed for that. Send it over to you.